Let's talk about needs. So often what we think we need is needs from our child within. I need a cuddle. I need this person to behave in a certain way so that I feel okay. I need this person to be with me so that I feel okay. I can't do this. I need somebody with me so that I can do this. All of these needs are our insecurities that are coming from within that sit with our inner child. They're not our wise adult. We are complete. We have everything within us that we need, but parts of us may be sleeping. Circuits may have been switched off. Informational pathways may have been distorted through shock, trauma, life experience, generational traumas, past life, a whole shelf of reasons. And so we can grow up with stories, we can grow up with beliefs, and when we reach our adulthood, even our teenagehood, our 20s hood, 30s hood, 40s hood, wherever you are right now, you may have stories that are replaying inside your mind that say, these are my needs. And I'm going to challenge you on what those needs are. So, I'm gonna use real life experiences that have happened this week um, uh, with, with other, other clients, for example. So, I can't do this. That wasn't true. In that moment, that person felt fear, anxiety, and lack of self-worth, and lack of self-control, and not enough. When we re-imprinted a pattern, an exercise that is uh, creating a re-diversion of that information coming in, they were very quickly able to turn the I can't do this into I feel safe. And if they now walk away and repeat this with the eye movements, with the visualization of the shape, with the imprinting into every cell in every part of your body and matrix, then very quickly they are going to repattern their mindset and an old belief. And before they know it, they will not be thinking the word, I can't do this. Another example. I need a cuddle. Now again, that's searching outside of ourselves for the answer. And it's okay to want a cuddle. It's okay to feel like you need that cuddle. But the question comes back to, can you cuddle yourself? Can you self-soothe yourself? And can you know that you have every tool inside of you, somewhere, it may have just been forgotten, and do the work yourself by going within, and it takes work, and work can be painful, and work is surrendering, work is feeling the vulnerabilities, work is facing yourself, work is not avoiding yourself or anybody else around you, work is taking accountability and responsibility for all of your behaviours and recognising that I, you, we may be creating our own chaos. And if we can truly sit there and recognise that patterns may be repeated and situations may be repeated that are bringing discomfort to us, then we may be leading ourselves there and not picking up the lessons. Because if we pick up the messenger, 
and we see that deeper lesson, so not the symptom, not the situation, not the experience, not the way somebody spoke to us, not the way somebody behaved around us, and we start to look within that I am being triggered and it's an old wound resurfacing, my band-aid being peeled off and that's painful. And we choose to do the work, which takes commitment. And by doing the work, we start to experience change we may well find, and I can almost guarantee you that this will happen, that those external situations will not affect you so much. You will build resilience. You will build your emotional immunity. You will rebuild the information inside your cells, inside your energy system. And in doing that, you will boost your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual connection with yourself and with others. But it takes recognizing, it takes accepting without minimizing or denying, it takes emptying out, it takes refilling, repatterning with new beliefs, and that's repetitive exercise, like going to the gym, going to a class, doing your things that you do day to day, whether that's your yoga, your pilates, your meditation, your journaling, your affirmations, your writings, your brushing your teeth, Repatterning takes practice too, and commitment. But by doing it, my goodness, the results that you will experience will create life transformation and improve your quality of life in this life experience. Because you really, really matter. And when you improve your life experience, from within, you're going to transform your life experience on the outside. And people will respond to you differently because you're gonna to respond to yourself differently. You're gonna become aware of things that you didn't even know existed. You're going to look back at experiences and think, why did I behave in that way? And then you're gonna nurture yourself, forgive yourself so you can forgive others and understand that you may not have had toolkits in that moment may not have had that growth that the repetitiveness of pain has pushed you into and you're going to give thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for pushing me so far into pain that I've had to pick it up because when we don't pick up those toolkits we will find that we get repeated situations. It could be a repeated job that we don't enjoy. It could be repeated friendships who let us down. It could be repeated relationships that we think are toxic, but actually it's our behavior. It could be um, always not having enough money. It's our beliefs. It's our pattern. It's what we are repeating until we choose to pick up that messenger, say thank you, how are you doing? Thanks for arriving, thanks for showing me, thanks for pushing me, that's really uncomfortable, wow, that's chaotic. And we choose to create change. And that change creates more harmony, more peace, less illness, less physical symptom, less mental symptom, a stronger emotional connection with ourselves and others, greater wellness, greater health, more balanced of mind, mood and emotion, greater assimilation of all of our nutrients that we put into our body, because you can do whatever you want to physically, but if you are not working on the energy system of your body and the beliefs and patterns that are sitting inside your matrix, clogging you up, affecting your day-to-day -day life, keeping you feeling stuck, keeping you feeling blocked, whichever language that you want to use, and you're not choosing to do the work, then you're gonna keep repeating and you're gonna stay in victim and you're gonna victimize others. So when you are ready 
to pick up those tools and you are ready to take accountability and responsibility and understand that you have bought many of those situations in for a reason and for good, for your higher good, no matter how much discomfort they've bought, then you are going to create change. And I would love to be a part of that journey with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And as you know, my Instagram is all about, oh, what's it all about? Live in your best version. And it's not just about the services that I'm offering. This is my journey too. And I am continuously on learning and then sharing through teaching and it's an absolute joy.